Go. Today we're going to be doing a two pinch pop pumpkin. These are the tools that you're going to need. A rib, popsicle stick, scratchy tool, a needle tool, and a fishing line, and some water and some brushes at the end to smooth it out. So first, what we're going to do is knee the clay to get the air bubbles out. You have to knee it. You don't want to smear it, you just want to knee it for a bit. And after knee for a bit, you get the fishy line and you cut it to make sure there are no air bubbles. You cut it to make sure there's no air bubbles. And then you put it back together. After kneading the clay for the second time, you're gonna pat it with your palm to shape it as a ball. You can use a paddle, but it's better with your palm because you can shape it better. And after you dump paddling it in a ball, you're gonna cut it in half equally. Kind of equally. <laughs> then after that, you're going to roll them into your own, their own individual ball. <laughs> after rolling the clay into two separate balls, we're going to start by using one, and we're going to stick our thumb into the ball of clay and start doing the pitch technique by squeezing and then. Moving it around very slowly, not very slowly, but slowly, Rotating. to create a pot. So you're gonna do the same thing to the second one, but first let's finish the first one. After you're done doing the pinch technique, it's gonna look like pinch pots. And then you're gonna smooth the inside, like not that good, but make it look smooth. And after you're done smoothing it out, you want to even the bottom so when you put it on top. So you're going to turn it around, make sure you keep it shaped, and just really slow, just tap it around, all around to give it a flat surface. After you're done doing both, giving it a soft surface, straight surface, there you go. You're going to make sure they're the same size. Perfect. So then you're, this is when the scratchy tool comes in handy. You scratch it all around. You can cut it from here. Add water. Why? <laughs> to connect them. Okay, then you're going to scratch it all around. You can add a little water where it can be easier to connect them. So, we're going to put this on top. And after you, you're done scratching them and putting a little water, you're going to attach them with the popsicle stick. After we're done scratching, now we're going to score all around, which is the method they call slip and score. So, we're going to use the popsicle all around. It doesn't have to be beautiful because we're going to smooth it out at the end. But to make sure you attach it really good. So after we're done using the popsicle stick, we're going to use some water. And we're going to use the rib to smooth out the part to make to smooth it all out. All around. To cover the connection. You want to make it look natural. After we're done smoothing it, we're going to tilt it. Get, for, you can, for you can see its face when you're drawing on it. After you're done tilting it, you're going to use needle tool to draw its face. So, there you go. So after making a silly face, you want to use a popsicle stick to give it the pumpkin design. So we're going to... Use the side of the popsicle stick, put it against the clay, and go all around to the top. 
So you want to do this all around the pumpkin. Add the stem. So the stem is very easy. You just get a ball of clay, you roll it out, and from there you shape it as the way you want it since I already shaped mine. And I left this part like flat out so I can attach it easier. Add the stem. So the stem is very easy. You just get a ball of clay, you roll it out, and from there you shape it as the way you want it since I already shaped mine. And I left this part like flat out so I can attach it easier. So the tool that you need can the tools that you're gonna need to attach is scratchy tool, which you're gonna use on top. You're gonna scratch the top and the bottom of the stem. Then you're gonna use a little water where you can attach a little better. So you're gonna use the popsicle stick to attach the stem. You're gonna smooth it out. Give it a stem texture. You can get very creative with it, but this is the finish, the finishing touch of the pumpkin. You wanna, before carving it, you want to let it set overnight. So after you're done like letting it set, you can start cu carving it like this one. You have to let it overnight, and that's from there you can cut the eyes and the mouth, and just get very creative with it. If you don't want to do pumpkin, and you're more creative, you can do something else like. Olaf or another character from a different movie or you can make it look like a witch just it's your project to be very creative the creative the better so after you're done leaving it overnight you're going to carve out its mouth and its eyes and then you're going to let it bone dry after it's bone dry then it's going to get bis fired and that's when you get to paint them from this chunk of blob it'll go to something smooth and beautiful for any decoration.